Obadiah, verse number 17. <clears throat> but Jerusalem will become a refuge for those who escape. It will be a holy place. And the people of Israel will come back to reclaim their inheritance. The people of Israel <clears throat> will be a raging fire and Edom a field of dry stubble. The descendants of Joseph will be a flame roaring across the field, devouring everything. There will be no survivors in Edom. I, the Lord, have spoken. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. For a few moments, on today, I want to preach to you from the theme, better. Better, better. Better. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm better. I'm better. As the people of God, we have made a sincere commitment because of our faith to serve God to the best of our abilities. No matter what we face as we endure, Those devoted to the call of Christ boldly declare this commitment when we say, and I promise him that I will serve him until I die because I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. When we see that, Sister Sharon, do we grasp the fact that the process is a struggle? Do we really know that sometimes there's going to be some battles? <clears throat> and sometimes there's going to be some ills that we have to climb. Do we understand that along life's narrow way, there are going to be issues? There are going to be problems. And there are going to be those people that don't want us to excel. It is true. Our desire should be to serve him and to worship him in spirit and in truth. This simply means that we've made a conscious choice to worship God with all that we have. With us making this commitment we have also dedicated our lives not only to serving God, but to serving one another. Understand, by our declaration of faith, we have made a commitment to serve no matter what the cost. You look at what they did to Jesus. What do you think They'll do you. We understand as we aspire to be attached to God and faithful to God, there will be resistance. And there will be hostility as we strive to reach our purpose. I want us to be clear. As we endure this journey, there will be those who accept our anointing, and there will be those who stand in opposition of it. Even in the household of faith, there will be those who will treat you unbrotherly and unsisterly. See what I'm talking about? The anointing. I'm referring to the way that God has blessed us 
and gifted us for the ministry that he has for us. So in the, in the midst of dealing with opposition, there will be those you know and those you love who will act like they don't know you simply because you've been called to serve. There will be those who are acquainted with you who seek to openly deny and reject you due to the work that God has called you to do. There will be those who have walked with you and are walking with you seeking to be your competition. The songwriter simply called them backstabbers. They smile in your face. And all the time, they simply want to take your place. Lastly, there will be those who secretly and openly want to do physical harm to us for the simple fact that we live for Jesus and we preach Jesus. Opposition, my brothers and my sisters, will attempt to hinder your progress but stand firm for the gospel's sake. Instigators will try and stir up trouble, but I encourage you to keep your composure for the gospel's sake. Folk may try to make it seem like you are not committed nor reliable, but I need you to stay focused for the gospel's sake. The antagonist We'll try to break you down. Stay unmoved for the gospel's sake. However, in the midst of being persecuted, in the midst of being ostracized, and in the midst of being misrepresented, we are simply called to follow Christ and uphold the ways of Christ. Yeah, Remember, we are called according to his purpose. And no matter what we do, and no matter what we say as believers, we are to live like Christ. We are to walk like Christ. We are to love like Christ. The songwriter declares, my life and my love I give to thee. The Lamb of God who died for me. May I ever faithful be. I consecrate my life to thee. The author of this text is God's prophet of Zion. This is a prophetic vision from God and it is spoken through the prophet. The only thing known about this prophet is his name, which means servant of God or worshiper of God. In our text, God is addressing his covenant people who have endured persecution and have already experienced his judgment. They've been through all of that thinking is glad but they will receive restoration from God. Understand, understand that Obadiah is the shortest book in the Old Testament. And it's overlooked by almost everybody. But in this book, the prophet is talking about Edom. And we must understand the origins of Edom clearly identifies Edom as the house of the descendants of Esau. All right. Don't we? Mean? We know that Esau is Jacob's twin brother. The Lord himself pledges to bring down Edom. We must understand the issues with Edom were their pride. Edom's pride 
trick them into believing they were self-sufficient, secure by their own means, and untouchable because of where they lived. We have to be, we have to be weary about being prideful. We can't think that we got it all together just because we are who we are. We can't be secure by our own means and think we are untouchable because we're from New York. But because of their pride, the house of Esau will be totally devastated, ravaged, and looted. The house of Esau will be laid to waste by her associates and her allies. The house of Esau will be destroyed. The house of Esau's population will be cut down and due to their violence against Israel, the house of Esau will be covered in shame. To get a better understanding of this Deacon and Simpson, we note that the relationship between Israel and Edom as brothers is very complex. It's a complex relationship that goes all the way back to Genesis 25. When they were in the womb of their mother, Rebecca. As we know, tensions between these two was obvious. But it continued to accelerate up into the Babylonian exile. Come on now. Edom's conduct towards Israel was unbrotherly. And Edom was accused of violence against the people of Judah. Edom, which was family, acted like they didn't know who Judah was. The first charge brought against them is that they took a stance of non-involvement when it came to helping their brother. Okay, okay. Uh-uh. Didn't help. How many times? Have we been guilty of not helping our brothers and our sisters when we could have? Not only did they have a stance of non involvement, but as Edom stood at a distance, they also acted as opposition to their brother. So they were not involved when they had struggle, but they contributed to the struggle. And not only that, then they rejoiced when Judah went down. Ain't it just like us? Yeah. Oh, they got what they deserved. Therefore, God pronounced judgment on Edom because they were prideful and Edom was an active participant in the downfall of Judah. The Bible says in Job chapter 3 verse 19, but Egypt will become a wasteland for Edom. And Edom will become a wilderness because they attacked the people of Judah and killed innocent people in their land. My God. However, there's good news in the text. How there's a day of deliverance for Israel. This is where the meat of what we want to talk about today. There's a day of deliverance for God's people. Mount Zion, located in Jerusalem 
was loved by God, but it had become a place of destruction for Judah. But now it would become a place of deliverance. The place God dwelled was desecrated by foreigners. And now it will be holy again. The Bible says that Mount Zion will be restored. Mount Zion will be a place of relief from difficulty. Mount Zion will be a place of safety and a place of holiness. And Mount Zion will be a place where Israel reclaims what was stolen and was lost. Hope Missionary Baptist Church, we are being restored. We will become a place of safety and relief from difficulty. We will be a place of holiness. And we will take back everything that the devil has stole from us. So what becomes of us when God turns our situation around by removing Destruction and persecution. It's right there in the text. Number one, we become a safe place for those who are enduring the struggle. Number two, we become a place of holiness, a place where the maturing saints gather. Number three, we become steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, if I can leave you with a thought on today, we will be restored to a place of better simply because we've been delivered. After we have gone through the storm, we will be restored to a place of better. After being mistreated by our brothers and our sisters, we will be restored to a place of better. After enduring persecution, we will be restored to a place of better. After being ex exiled by our own deeds, we will be restored to a place of better. In the midst of coming through our own struggles, we will be restored to a place of better. In the midst of tribulations, through dangers seen and unseen, when we are broken, when we are hurt, when we are wounded, when we have no hope, my brothers and my sisters, we will be restored to a place of better. See, we can rejoice even in the midst of struggles because the Bible says God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is a very present help in time of trouble so we can stand firm. He is present and he is our help. We can be secure. He is present. And he is our help. We can be triumphant. Are we triumphant? Or are we not triumphant? He is present. And he is our help. We are on our way ready to the promised land. He is present. And he is our help. No matter what we endure, tell your past, I'm better. Tell your agitators, I'm better. Tell depression, I'm better. Tell diabetes, I'm better. Tell hypertension, I'm better. Tell your cancer, I'm better. Tell frustration, I'm better. Tell despair, I'm better. Tell loneliness, I'm better. Tell brokenness, I'm better. Tell your finances, I'm better. Relationships, I'm better. As a servant, I'm better. As a parent, I'm better. As a spouse, I'm better. As a I'm better in ministry. I'm better. Tell those who wrongly accuse you. I'm better. I'm better. We 
Be immovable. 